Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R E I. S E R. I encourage you yourself to get out there and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my science channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser M. Period S. Period, and I appreciate your financial support. Your contributions allow me to buy more materials to bring you fascinating science demonstrations. Today's demonstration is on chemistry. This is a chemistry magic show. I am going to show you a magic trick and have you explain to me in the comments below exactly what had happened and how I did it. Let's get to the demonstration. I have three beakers. and an Erlenmeyer flask of water, tap water, and I have a pitcher. I'm going to fill the pitcher with the water. Now from the pitcher, I'm going to fill the first two beakers. I'll fill all three beakers with the water. All three beakers are filled with water. Let me show you the beakers again. Beaker one, beaker two, and beaker three. I'm going to pour the first beaker into heart in the hard to see through beak uh, pitcher. Now I'm going to pour the contents of beaker two into the pitcher. I'm going to say hocus pocus. Now what color do you expect to come out of the beaker, out of the pitcher, when I pour the pitcher water back into the first two beakers? And as you can see, 
They're pink. Now I'm going to pour all three beakers back into the pitcher. And I am once again going to say, Hocus Pocus. Now what color do you expect the water to be when I pour them back into the beakers? And it's clear again. It's colorless. And I say, isn't that enchanting? And I'm going to ask you a question. How is it that the water turned pink and then turned back cut to colorless? I have to give you one clue, one hint, to make your explanation in the comments below. And that is, each beaker wasn't totally dry, but contained a very, very small amount of a chemical. When you leave your comments in the section of comments, I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always telling you in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals to keep looking down.